Right, another worst to best ranking video. This time I thought I'd do the Transporter films. Um, I like all these movies. I mean, it was quite difficult to rank them really because I like them all, but I thought I'd do a worst to best. Uh, put my thoughts on them, what I think about them. Um, there's four movies in total, uh, three with Jason Statham and then um, a fourth one with a different actor. Um, I'll start off with that one actually, that's my number four, Transporter Refuel it's called. Um, I really enjoy this one. Uh, obviously because it's not Jason Statham it wasn't really as popular as the others but um, I still enjoyed it, I still thought it was a really good movie. Yeah there's some um, decent action scenes in it. Um, I quite like the actor who plays Frank Martin. Um, Probably not as good as Jason Statham, but still he does a good job. Um, some decent car scenes in it, car chases. His father in it brings a bit of humour into it. A bit of a dumb plot, a bit of a silly story to it to be honest, but um, you just can look past all that and just enjoy these movies for what they are really. Yeah, so that's my number four. Still enjoy watching this one. If you've not seen it, give it a go. If you like the other films, you're more than like like this one anyway. So, uh, my number three on the list, Transporter Two. This is one where he goes to like America. There's some really silly scenes in this one, very far fetched, over the top, but it's fun to watch. Some great action scenes in it as well by Jason Statham. There's a good car chase in it, as always, with these movies. Kind of like sports copying James Bond in a way. But a bit more over the top, obviously. Yeah, I really enjoy this one. Just happens to be my number three. Could have been better, could have been worse, I suppose. It's probably the one I watch the least now, because it's just, it, just, it is a bit silly, this one. You can tell the budget was a bit higher on this one than the first film. It's only 8 to 5 minutes long as well, so quite a short film actually, so I quite like that about it because if you just want to watch a short movie, you don't really want to watch a film that's 2 hours long, it's a bit of fun for 8 to 5 minutes I suppose. It's got a fun like um, action scene at the end, I remember he uses like a horse pack, wraps it around everyone, oh yeah, I quite like that scene. Yeah, I really enjoy it, you know, just like all these films, just happens to sit at number 3 for me. My number two, Transporter 3. This decision was quite tough because number one for me was either going to be this one or the first one. I really enjoy this one. A lot of car scenes, car chases in it again. Fighting scenes are great in it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's the beginning of the film where there's like a piano scene and he's like hitting his head on the piano, that was pretty funny. Um, got a quite a decent plot this one as well, I mean the other ones, were, they're a bit, the stories were a bit silly, a bit far-fetched, but this one's got quite a decent sort of story and plot to it I thought. Because um, it involves, um, I think it's this guy from Ukraine and his daughter's been kidnapped and so he goes on this like mission to to try and rescue this girl. The girl it kind of pisses me off a bit in this movie, she's kind of a bit annoying, but it's alright. So yeah, it's, it's a good solid movie this one I think. Again it's quite a short film, it says a hundred minutes long, so not a very long film, but a really enjoyable one. So it sits at number two for me, um, so that means my number one is Transporter. Now I don't have um, a box of this, just a DVD on its own, so I'll just probably flag up a picture or whatever. Yeah, what can I say about this movie? Really enjoyable. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the Transporter and Jason Statham, and he's gone on to do a lot of other action films after this. This holds up as being one of his best, I think. I remember, um, I can't remember what film it was. 
think it might have been the Born Identity, the first Born film. And they showed a trailer of it, and I was like, that's that guy out of Lot Stock, Two Smoking Barrels, and a Snatch. I thought, he's in an action film. And it looked pretty good. I thought, I'm going to have to go and watch this at the pictures. But I didn't end up watching it at the pictures. I ended up watching it years later on DVD, and I was like, yeah, this film's really enjoyable. Um, I never get bored of watching this film either. I mean, I've been watching this film over and over for years now and I still enjoy it. Some great action scenes. Jason Statham is brilliant in it. Great car chases, fight scenes, you know the score. They're all pretty much the same, but I think this one's the best one out of a bunch. Um, also, the music in this film is done by a guy called Stanley Clark, who's a bass player. Um, I enjoy a lot of his music. He's, he's a great bass player, Stanley Clark. Uh, I didn't even know he did music scores for films, but yeah, he's, he does a music score for this film. And yeah, the music's really good in this movie as well. I really like that. So yeah, that's Transporter. Really enjoy all these films. Jason Statham is brilliant. Maybe he'll be the next James Bond, who knows. So yeah, that's, that's my ranking, wish the best of the Transporter movies, I like them all really, but if I had to rank them as of now, that's where I'd rank them. So um, let me know your thoughts, do you like these movies, where would you rank them? I'm sure we've got probably a different opinion, but um, put your comments down below, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time.